Love, light, and blessings. This is Shamanic Arag Priestess here, and this is my complete tarot collection that I keep in this shelf here. If you guys can see it, so yeah, this is where I store my, my texts that are not in use. And um, on my work desk, I keep the one tarot that I'm used for client readings because I do switch them out. <laughs> Here and there, so I have the Vision Quest Tarot, which I love. It makes me feel like I'm connecting with my ancestors, because I do have Native American um, ancestry, and um, I have a very strong connection with this deck, and I am a shaman, so I just really, really love that deck. Um, I use it more for personal use. Um, I also have the silver witchcraft tarot, and um, I usually only use this deck seasonally, usually um, during the fall Halloween time. Um, I have the Morgan Greer tarot. I have the the Lima Tarot, which I also use seasonally. I like using this one around springtime. It just feels very springy to me. I like this one also um, in the summer months. This one is like my spring deck, and I, I like to use it for divination for myself. Robin Wood, my first tarot deck other than the angel tarot um crystal visions i like to use this seasonally as well this is my other spring deck and then i have the beautiful sorry guys trying to record this <laughs> the dean darcy deck i like to keep it in this pouch because the bag that comes with the Dame Darcy deck is like not the most sturdy of bags. I have the Chrysalis Tarot. I also have Shadowscapes. I also use this one for personal use as well as the Chrysalis Tarot. Um, Dreams of Gaia. This is my backup copy because the first uh, copy of that deck um, had a lot of usage. I also, it's a personal deck as well for me. And um, Green Witch Tarot. It's another deck that I have for personal use. And I rotate these, um, my personal use decks, monthly. So I'll work with one deck exclusively for myself for journaling, shadow work, divinations, and things of that nature. Um, shadowscapes. I mean, not shadowscapes, I'm sorry. Oh, Tarot's of the Hidden Realm. You could tell I had a long day at work today. So I also use this for personal use. I love it. I find it very healing. Some people um, consider it their um, hug deck. I get really strong... Um, in your face readings with it so it's never been huggy with me um the Druid craft is also part of my collection you can see it's pretty beat up i use it a lot um i use it for reading myself with it um this is the sorry i'm trying to open some of these with one hand um then we have the Victorian Tarot, Victorian Fairy Tarot. It's a Llewellyn deck, and I also use this for personal work um, for myself. And I've gotten really wonderful and powerful readings with it, as well as a jewel craft. I've gotten some in your face readings with it too. None of my decks have really been too huggy with me, believe it or not. Um, this is the one I'm using at the moment. It is the um, 
Tarot Illuminati. And um, it just feels very Christmassy. I always use this around Christmas time because it's a very fancy deck. The gilding and everything just reminds me of like the extravagance of Christmas decorations and things like that. Mm, my tree. <laughs> have my tree up. I put up the tree with the kids the other day. They were so excited. And this deck, I use it for um, and for um, study. Don't really use it for divination. It's one of the few decks that I kept that I edged. I'm not crazy about edging decks, to be honest. So it's not something that I really do. I love seeing everybody else's, but I just, you know, it gives me anxiety. Um, another deck that I'm using at the moment for personal use is my second soul deck that I have a very deep connection with. Well, it's a tie between Vision Quest and this one, which is the Wildwood Tarot. Um, it is the deck that I have at my altar at the moment, and I'm working well. Um, like I said, I usually rotate my work decks once a month. Personal reading deck, either monthly or bi-weekly. And um, I use it for divination or just to do quick checkups, one card pull, things like that. So it depends. I keep it in this nice box. Um, and then the deck that I'm using for work right now at the moment um, that I was drawn to use at this time. Sorry, it's pretty beat up and I'm trying to get it out with one hand. It's in this beautiful little bag and it's the... Ah, Los Garibo, um, Wheel of the Year, and this one's pretty beat up too, um, I'm using this one, this is my soul deck, and it's the deck that I've been working with, um, in the month of December, um, I just felt very drawn to work with it, being that it's called the Wheel of the Year, and we're getting at, we're at the end of 2017, this is the box, which I barely use. Um, these are my work decks, so these are for client readings. Um, the Will of the Year is one of them. Um, Smith Waite Tarot Deck, the Centennial, I read with for client readings exclusively. Um, Universal um, Weight Tarot and the Radiant Weight. And this one is the Classic Tarot. It doesn't come with a box. But I had an extra box for the Radiant because this copy, I ended up, um, it got wet and it got messed up, but the box still survived. And this, this, uh, the, the original copy that I had, and it was pretty beat anyway, so. But yeah, the classic tarot is in there. And this one. And then I also, the Hanson Roberts, and I usually trade these out monthly every two months or seasonally so i only use tarot to read with clients um because i mostly channel and things of that nature but there, this is my tarot collection that i keep on the shelf and then the one that i'm it's in use usually is on my work desk and i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, I only own 24 tarot decks. And to be honest, I feel like my collection's complete. There isn't any decks that are on my wish list at the moment. So I'm pretty happy with my um, tarot deck collection. And even though I love watching your guys' collection videos and things like that, um, I just like, I don't know, I resonate with having a smaller collection. Well, love, light, and blessings. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until the next video, love, light, and blessings. And happy holidays to everyone.